Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown today. I'm going to be using this team, which features an Assault Vest Gudra, and I definitely think it has its place in the metagame right now. So much superior and type of bull running around, and you have Sap Sipper for that. Astro Ninja is obviously very high in usage, so you take like 20% from Dark Pulse with your Assault Vest plus max HP. And then we're just going with Max at Special Attack Modest right here, because since your Special Defenses are already really high, you really don't need to invest in that. So we just put the remaining 4. And then, of course, 4 attacks right here, just because we are running Assault Vest. Then we have Wall Breaking Keldeo. is able to pretty much break through Celesteela and Heatran to help out our Scarf Tabu Lele sweep. And we're actually running Dual Scarfer right here with Scarf Lele plus Scarf Lando. Definitely people get thrown off guard up by this a lot. A lot of people expect like Scarf Lele and then Flanium Lando, but Double Scarf is really cool. Then we have nice lefties, Spadef Ferrothorn right here, pretty much just as our fairy resist. Not really meant to switch into Ash Greninja because we have Kaleo plus Gudra, but it definitely helps out with like Tapu Lele and Magirna. And then uh, finally Mega Manectric right here, which I haven't used in a while, so I figured I would go ahead and complete the Dual Intimidate Volturn Core, which I used to use a lot back in the day, so that's going to be the team. It'll be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out, of course. And I'll be right back with our first game. Alright, I got the first game right here. This is going to be a little bit tough for Gudra. He doesn't really have anything that I really want to uh, pivot in on. I think he's probably going to lead off with either Garchomp or Clefable to get up rocks. So what I think I want to do right here is just lead off with my Landorus T. He actually leads Amoongus, which is not that big of a deal. I can just U-turn out here into my Ferrothorn. Is he Helmet? He is not Helmet, so we'll see if we see Black Sludge right here. I'll go out into Ferrothorn on the pretty obvious Spore. We do see Black Sludge, okay. Uh, this is a free Spike if I want that. Or I can just throw off a Leech Sheet. Let's just go for Spike. I feel like he'll have HP Fire, yeah. And uh, that's not even doing too much damage, which is pretty cool. So I can try to stack him right here, or I just go for the Power Whip. He actually goes to Old Steel. I was kind of expecting Drill to spin, but... I guess a Drill is probably a Sandra Sweeper here, so... Not quite sure what he wants to click. I'll just go Gudra. Like, nothing... I mean, I'll take a Leech Sheet because of Sap Sipper. That's not going to do anything, yeah. So here I just get to throw off a free attack, and I'm going to throw off a Fire Blast. Maybe he has Protect the Scout, but he's just going to give me the damage, and look at that, that does a great damage. And that does a lot too, but it's nothing that I can't handle. Let's go for Fire Blast. And honestly, uh, I'm just going to click it again, because once this thing is weakened, I just win with the Lando. So, he goes Tar now, which makes a lot of sense. Let's see, uh, unfortunately I miss, but I don't want to stand right here. Let's just switch out into... Nothing really takes this on. I mean, Caldeo is great in the late game. I could just stay in. Like, what's Good rarely doing for me in this game? Not a ton. Let's just go for the Dragon Pulse. As he throws up his rocks, which is not that big of a deal, honestly. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Smooth Rock, and then it's probably Mega Chomp. Goes for Pursuit. Tries to knock me out that way. And I'll Sludge Wave here in case he wants to go Clefable, yeah. And uh, we'll be able to hit that Clefable pretty hard right there, so. That's very cool, and now I can just go out here into my Keldeo. And uh, pull a nice double. Actually, I'm just going to surf it. I don't want it recovering up. Yeah, so what do I feel like winning this game with? I think Scarf, Moonblast, or Psychic can do a lot of work. I just got to make sure that the Tyranitar doesn't heal up too much. So let's go back to Ferrothorn here. On the HP Fire. So good play on my opponent's part, of course. Now I can just go right for the Spike. And uh, do I want to preserve this? Not really. It's not really that important. How weak is Celesteela? It's still pretty healthy. That's kind of unfortunate. Let's just let him knock me out and then go Tapu Lele here. So I kind of need to get this play right. I think I'm just going to go for the Moonblast. Or Psychic. Let's just go for Moonblast. I feel like it's going to go Celesteela, but if he wants to go Tyranitar, I want to be able to catch that Mon. He goes Garchomp, so this, is, this Garchomp's going to go down. Yeah, we knock out Garchomp right there, so that's great. Kind of puts us back in this game right now. Go Celesteela. So he gets a free Leech Sheet. I gotta make the offensive play into Keldeo. On the Leech Sheet. And then I'm gonna double to Manectric on the Protect slash uh, Moongus. So there's the Protect. Now I can just Mega Evolve here and go right for a uh, Flamethrower. He goes for Protect again, so I'll just, I'll just Thunderbolt it now. Or do I just Flamethrower again? Let's just Thunderbolt it. He goes a Moongus. Uh, that definitely sucks. Now I have to have something get put to sleep. It can't be Lando. Lando's like really nice right now. I think it has to be this, unfortunately. Let's go for Flamethrower to weaken him on the Spore. And uh, now I'll just switch out here into my, my Landers T. If he Sludge Bomb poisons me, this is over. But I think my Landers can win the game. Or I just stay in. Like, what's the downside to just staying in here? 
Okay, I need to wake up against Clef if Clef comes in, because if that recovers, then I really can't let that happen. Let's see what he opts to do. Is he just gonna Giga Drain here? It's kind of an unfortunate turn of events, but I kind of win this game if I just get rid of Celesteela. So he gets some health back, which is unfortunate. I think I might wake up here if I get lucky, but unfortunately that doesn't happen. He tries to predict my, uh, my wake up. Let's go for a flamethrower again. We weaken him even further. He might switch out now, I think. Or maybe he'll just stay in again. I, I think once this thing is gone, he can't switch into my Keldeo anymore. Okay, so if I can get some luck in my favor right here, I'll wake up. And I'll be able to Volt Switch. Unfortunately, that's not what happens. So now, I, I think I just Volt Switch out here into my Tapu Lele. I get max turns. Really? Okay, whatever. Uh, I'll wake up this turn, and I'll be able to go out into my Lele and click an attack. Okay, so yeah, let's make the Tapu Lele play here. And then, uh, let's just go for Psychic. We're not doing a ton, but we do get a nice Spadev drop. Maybe if we can get another one, I'll be in a good spot. He's playing with fire here. Yeah, and we get the crit. That that was huge, but... Like, I think I honestly needed that at that point. Like, this matchup was pretty terrible just because Gudra couldn't pivot in on anything. And I, that definitely sucks for my opponent, but I think it's what I had to go for. So at this point, my Manectric is probably the most expendable. Yeah, so let's see. It's actually gonna Pursuit me, and that actually just straight up knocked me out. That really sucks. But uh, the good thing is I can actually go Keldeo here. And I'll hit him up with a nice Icy Wind. Goes Amoongus, yeah, I'll be able to knock out Amoongus now. Knock that out. I don't know if the crit- I, I doubt the crit mattered, but... Yeah, out comes Tyranitar. I mean, Excadrill. So I can either just stay in, or I just wait until the sand goes away. How healthy is Tyranitar? 18. It can't come back in on hazards, I don't think, then. So I believe my play is just to stay in. No, no, no it's not to stay in. Ever. He tries to Iron Head, okay, good. That's okay, I think he needs a flinch. Let's go for Earthquake. Oh, he actually knocked me out with that, and that's going to be the game. Actually, uh, maybe I can make something happen if I... If I go extra, get the double Intimidate, and then Keldeo lives. So he knocks me out. I think Keldeo can take a hit now and win the game. So let's go for... Surf or Secret Sword? I, I Hydro Pump's the guaranteed win right here, I think. This Tarnator dies on entry, right? So let's do this. I have to Hydro Pump. Ah, he got Sand back up. I thought it would die on entry, really. How much How much damage did he have? I don't know, but he's going to be able to go ahead and win that game, unfortunately. I thought the Tyranitar would die on entry. It said 18%. I believe Spikes with two layers does 18, but I guess you can't really trust that. I wish it showed the exact percentage, but I'll go ahead and drop a GG, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got another game right here. Not the best start, but we can try to bounce it back. This is looking like a better match for my Gudra. I think he's probably going to lead off with Sash Sword of Nidoking right there. Which, I don't really have a good lead against. Kaldeo is great, so I don't want to use that to knock out the Nido King. Lando is good. Well, actually, he has Celesteela and a Rotom, so let's lead off with Lando here. Uh, we should outspeed. We are a Choice Scarf. And uh, I think what I can do here is just go for the U-turn. He actually goes Hard Rotom Wash, which uh, actually allows me to bring out my Manectric here. And uh, what this allows my Manectric to do is go right for a nice... Hidden Power Ice, I think, on the Nido King. I doubt he would stay in. Do I just double out here? Because Ferrothorn can cover both, but he might have Flamethrower. Let's go for the HP Ice. He's, it's kind of tough, because if he goes out into the ground types, that sucks, but if I Thunderbolt to get damage off on Rotom, it could be good for me. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. I feel like he's going to Hydro Pump for damage on me. Ah, this is really tough. I don't know what to do. Like, Gudra is a safe play. Let's just go Gudra. He does go Nido King, okay. So at the very least, what I get to do right here is two at KO with Ice Beam on the rocks. Because like he's gonna do nothing to Gudra. Uh, hopefully, like randomly throws out Lando. Like ideally no Tran. If he goes Lando, that would be so funny. <laughs> or even like Bulu. He goes Tran, okay. So this is probably the rocker then. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm gonna go Keldeo and get my kill. And uh, I'm just going to go right here for a nice specs. Do I make the prediction? I'm going to make the prediction, yeah. I felt as though I had to right there. So we hit it up with a nice specs, Icy Wind. Now he's definitely going to switch out here. Now he might not. 
Go sell a steel. That's honestly a fine switch for me. What's my answer? I mean, I don't want to take a leech seed, so I'll just go Gudra. Because I do have Sap Sipper, so if he goes for the, the leech seed, it's not a big deal. And like, I'll take a heavy slam if I need to, and I'll get grassy terrain recovery. So yeah, there's the there's the leech seed right there. And uh, this allows me to go ahead and throw off uh, nice dragon pulse. I'll just go for the dragon pulse because I know he's going Tran. We can hit a bit at the very least. It won't end up mattering, but. What is he really doing to me right here? He can toxic. I don't want Kaldeo getting toxic. He's either going to toxic or taunt or something like that. I feel like if I just continue spamming a dragon pulse, he's not going to beat me 1v1. Like, eventually I'll wear him down. Yeah, so let's just stay in right here. I feel like there's no reason not to stay in. He goes for Magma Storm. So I'm trapped in here now, but at the very least, I'll be able to wear this thing down a lot. Uh, okay, so he's going to keep on critting me, which sucks. Like, I think damage on Tran is actually pretty nice right here for Manectric. Did he crit me again? No. Okay, so Kelio gets a kill now with Hydro Pump. And I'm clicking Hydro Pump. If I miss, then I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> I can just Surf, I think. Like, I'll get damage off on Rotom, but I could 2-hit K Rotom with Hydro Pump. I'm going for Hydro Pump. Yeah, that's not going to take two of those. Can I please hit another one? Kelio, I need you to hit this. Thank you. So, that's pretty nice. And uh, he really can't switch into Kelio at this point in the game. Go Zero to Mosh. Probably... I mean, I don't have a Magma Storm switch in, so I want to try to prevent him from doing too much work with Heatran. But every time Heatran comes in, I get a KO of my own now. I feel like I'm going to go with trick here. On the Nidoking double, that's interesting. Uh, Manectric can win this game, so let's not stay in. Let's instead go out here into my... I feel like I have to stay in, right? This Nidoking's been a, such an annoyance all game. I feel like it's Scarf. I'm gonna go Lando here. He went for Ice Beam. He got me right there. Alright, that's that's really bad, but I think I can still win with Scarf Psychic at the end of the day. So let's go uh, Caldeo here. Go right for the Surf. I need to Hydro Pump again to 2 at KO Rotom, which I know is coming out right here. Sex Tran off, actually. So we get rid of Tran. Bulu will die, right? Bulu? I mean, we know it's not... We know it's probably in range, right? Choice specs? So that's against no bulk. How much did my Icy Wind do? 66 to 79. I'm going Ferrothorn. Yeah, let's bring in Ferrothorn here. On uh, the SD. So he's about to go for plus 2 superpower. Uh, there's no reason to preserve this. All out pummeling. Man. <laughs> that guy had no fear in that play. So let's go Lele here, I think, and just knock him out. Psychic should kill. Yeah, this this should knock him out, I think. Double Scarf may catch him off guard, too. So let's go for Psychic here. And if it doesn't kill, we lose, but I think it should kill. Like, it's Lele under terrain. This has to kill, right? Okay, so I'll be able to knock out Nidoking, which is cool. Out comes uh, Lander's T. Lander's T will not knock me out unless it's Z-move. But my Tapu Lele wins the game once I get more damage off. But I can just so easily stay in right here. And then I kind of win with Keldeo late game. And Manectric. Let's just stay in. Yeah, he can't knock me out with Earthquake. I can Psychic again right here. And uh, the good thing about this too is he can't get any Grassy Terrain. I mean, he can't get any Horn Leech recovery. He's sucking off Rotom now. So I knock that out. He's trying to go for the EQ win, but he got Grassy Terrain up, so it's not going to work out. Yeah, just knock it out. And uh, Lele is going to be able to pull through right here. So I recognize that Lele could win after he got rid of the Celesteel and the Tran. I don't know why he sacked off both the Steel types, but I'll go ahead and drop a GG. And I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got the next game right here. I think I can win this game with my Choice Scarf Tapu Lele. What I want to do here as a lead is actually lead off with my my Scarf Lando. He's going to lead off with the Drill. 
And uh, what this lead allows me to do is I can go for U-turn here on the rocks, bring in my Keldeo, and he doesn't respond to Keldeo very well, so like, his surf switchings aren't really there. I can even Hydro Pump if I want to make like a really offensive play, let's do that. So unfortunately I'm running no, ha no hazard control against webs. Maybe I should make this defog land though. I'm going to make a defog over HP Ice. Like, I'm not running into any Zagards right now. He stays in and a knockout drill. Go Superior. Gudra can take on Superior. Yeah, we get nice Sap Sipper. And uh, now what I get to do is just go ahead and click Sludge Wave here. Or Fire Blast. Or Ice Beam. Let's go for Ice Beam. Her Bombi is not going to do anything to me. And I can just Sludge Wave to knock out. Yeah, this is fine. Like, what did he do? Get up webs? I have plus one attack, which is interesting. I wonder what he's gonna try to knock me out with. Because, okay, that's gonna do nothing. Look at that, super effective Moonblast. Unfortunately, he gets a spit after up, but, I mean, a special attack drop. Could actually end up being pretty big. Alright. What now? Goes Mimikyu. I, I gotta stand to break this disguise. Yeah, now now that the disguise is broken, it's a lot easier to deal with. So I preserve Lando. I definitely preserve Lele. Let's go Ferrothorn. And this is tough. I think maybe I can go for like a nice... Lele sweep here? Let's go Ferrothorn. On the player off. And uh, let's see if he wants to knock me out. I think I might live. Yeah, I do live it. That could actually end up being worse for me if he's like set up Zard X. Go Superior. Hidden Power Fire. That's not a big deal at all. I got a free Dragon Pulse here. Como is going to go down. Yeah, I just dropped. And uh, that guy's going to go ahead and forfeit. So Gudra doing some work right there. I'll go ahead and he already left, so I'll be right back with another game. Alright, so we got the first guy again, who was Clefable I crit. We know it's Calm Mind, so I gotta keep that in mind. I'm gonna try to get some revenge right here. Let's go ahead and lead off here with my Lander's T. On a Garchomp lead, which is not a big deal. Unfortunately, I just changed this to HP Ice, but... Let's go for U-turn here on probably Celesteela. Yeah, so Celesteela comes out. This is a very free Heatran. And uh, I just wanna go for Magma Storm right here. I could have predicted that and gone for my Z-move. By the way, I forgot to mention, I did change the Heatran to a Z-move set and from Ferrothorn because I felt that as though we had enough responses to Ash Green Ninja between AV Gudra and Keldeo. So let's go Landorus here on the SD. I need to keep this alive. So he's going to click Dragon Claw. Yeah, so Dragon Claw comes out. Doesn't do a ton at all. Uh, I just get to click Moonblast here. As he goes right back to Celesteela. This allows me to bring right back my Heatran on Elite Sheet. Once again, I just click Magma Storm. I do hit. Let's see if he allows me to get rid of this. He does, so. Corkscrew Crash Heatran doing some work right there, which is cool. Guard Chomp coming back. I mean, once Sand goes down, that thing's not even a threat anymore. So now I just get to click U-Turn. Or actually, I'll just go for Earthquake. Goes Amoongus. That takes a ton. Yeah, so he has to go Celesteela. What's a good mid-ground? Let's go Keldeo here. On a Leech Sheet Miss, which is actually really fortunate for me. I'm clicking Hydro Pump. We knock out that out. Okay, cool. Yeah, and he's just gonna go out and forfeit. So we got our revenge right there. Definitely got sort of lucky, I guess, dodging the Leech Sheet, but I don't think it would have mattered. We were too far ahead of that point, so I'll go ahead and drop a GG. Nice to pick up a win against the guy who beat us. But I'm pretty sure he's the only person who's actually beat us so far this live, so that's pretty cool, and I'll be right back with another game. Alright, so the next game is right here against Coco Lucha, which Coco Lucha is a huge threat to this team. I don't know how I deal with that, actually. Caldeo's a threat to him, but I think I might just lose to Coco Lucha. Maybe my Nectar can take a hit, but I need to preserve the Intimidate and all that. Let's lead off here with my Lander's T on the uh, Araquanid lead, which is not a big deal. Uh, I'll just click U-turn here. I feel like he may switch out. He just stays in, and... What did he click? Liquidation? 
Gudra is nice. I don't... I mean, I have defog on this now, actually, so... I can defog any webs he wants to put up. Let's go Gudra. Yeah, on Liquidation, which uh, doesn't do too much damage at all. I'll go for Sludge Wave here. Expecting Clefable. Unfortunately, that doesn't really work out for me. That actually really sucks. His Leech Life is doing so much, too. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pull the trigger on this heat. Nah, I'm going to go for Dragon Pulse. I don't think Gudra is worth it in this game. Yeah, I'm so glad I cancelled my Heatran right there. And uh, now, let's just click it again. As he knocks me out, honestly, it could have been worse. Because I get to bring this out now, and I'll just go for Thunderbolt. Like, I have responses to Landers, even though, yeah, it's gonna come out. Should have made the prediction, man. Okay, let's go Landers here. That actually really sucks that I didn't get that right. Because if I got so much damage, I mean, I don't still, I'd still fail to see how I'm going to beat this Coco Lucha right now, but he goes for U-turn. Let's hope he, like, goes Coco and it dies. Goes right back to Iraq. I'll Stone Edge it, and if I miss, then this is a game. And uh, there's the miss, and he's going to Liquidation me. Alright, I have one chance right here, and it is to go back to this. Go for Thunderbolt. Knock that out and see if I can hacks my way to victory. That really sucked. I just lost my Lando, which would have done a ton of work here. He just gets to click Earthquake, and he he knows that for a fact. Yeah, and he has Scarf, so this game's over, I think. Let's uh, try the Caldeo, I guess, and let's go for Secret Sword. I don't know, I have to get this 50-50 right to even have a chance here. And I, I get it wrong, unfortunately. Heatran can come out, though. Yeah, let's just go Heatran. I feel like he has no reason to make a double. He just goes for Lead Sheet, yeah. Okay, so I, I, I think so if I can hit a Magma Storm here, I'll be in an okay spot. I think so. Uh, unfortunately, I don't hit. Yeah, this game's not really going my way. Let's try to Corkscrew Crash it. Because, like, if he tries to set up on this, then I'll, I might be fine. So we get rid of that Mon. We actually have a chance right here, which is pretty insane. Like, Scarf Lele looks great. I feel like it just goes Haluchan and wins, though. No, my, my type of Lele will live a hit. But I don't think I'm going to Oko him, and that's the problem. Goes Clef and gets a defense boost. Uh, that makes no sense. I'm going to Flash Cannon this. Bring it down to 85%, and he tries to Calm Mind. I'm actually What I'm going to do right here is Earth Power. Really hoping that he tries to do something weird. Oh, I knocked it out. That's what I didn't want. I was hoping he would live and then Halucha wouldn't sweep me. Okay, I need to hit a Magma Storm really desperately. Come on, please hit. Okay, he actually didn't go for the, the SD, so I might actually have a chance here. It's going to require some guessing, though. So let's go for Moon Psychic right here. If I predict this Ferrothorn right, I win the game. Okay, unfortunately, thankfully I didn't make the prediction. I, I should have won this, but he's gonna go- I need to hope for a power whip miss, basically. Oh, he goes out into this, which... I could actually win now because he did that, because I go for Scarf Psychic here. I put him in range of Secret Sword. Yeah, I think I think he just choked. Because my Kaleo can take an Earthquake. Unless it's Chapel on Ferrothorn? I don't know. Okay, let's go out into Caldeo and Secret Sword here. I needed to knock it out. Come on, please knock this out, Caldeo, and then I win the game anyway. Nope. Oh, wait, but he went for Leech Seed. Does he have Protect? He does have Protect, and... I need to hope Caldeo can live an Earthquake from 76, which I don't think it can. If he gets a double Protect here, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. Come on, don't double protect. I think I can actually win this with Caldeo at 76. Come on, just don't go for the double protect. That would be pretty funny. He doesn't get it? Cool. I need to hope I can live an Earthquake from 76, which I don't know if I can, but it's what I gotta go off of. Secret Sword here. Come on, live this Caldeo. 
Nope, I went down. I should have had that game at the end right there, but unfortunately I got pretty unlucky missing some attacks right there. It's totally all right there. I'll go ahead and drop a GG. Let's see what the roll was on that, actually. I'm kind of curious. Lander is T, Scarf. Against Kaleo. So if he was Jolly, that means, well, that's minus defense. So he had to be adamant then. So let's take out that. So he has to be adamant. I was at 75. I live that most of the time. Mad X, Max Attack, Adamant, Earthquake to no defense Kaleo. To 65 to 78, and he got the 75 roll. Well, he got the roll that he needed to, so... The odds were easily in my favor there, between all the hacks and the roll, but it is what it is, that's Pokemon, and I'll be right back with another game. Alright, so we're gonna try to ignore what happened in the last game right here. This guy is completely destroyed by Caldeo. Like, his water resist is Greninja, so... Let's lead off here with Caldeo. As he leads Nidoking. Caldeo can take any hit, but is it worth taking the damage on such a good Pokemon right here? I'm gonna surf it. He goes Thunders, this will die, I think. Uh, it actually lived it, so it could actually be... Uh, I'm gonna go Kazudra here, actually. Because I feel like it's gonna be Scarf. T-Bolt. Fire Blast is free. In case he wants to go Mawile, what is that, Phytinium? I'll, that's gonna do nothing. Huh? Did I miss? No, it, it died, okay. I can Ice Beam here. I don't know what this guy's trying to do. Yeah, knock that out. Okay, Gudra doing some nice work. Mawile. Finally, a threat's actually out. Let's go for the Fire Blast here. He doesn't even go for the... the thing, and he, he actually hangs on, which is pretty funny. Uh, I can just go out into my... my Caldeo here. And go right for the Surf. Yeah, he just goes in and forfeit, so... That guy was completely destroyed by Gudra plus Caldeo. I'll drop a GG, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, so once again, no Caldeo switching. Let's lead off here with Tran. He unfortunately leads Lando. I was expecting Zapdos, because, like, what does he do against Caldeo? But I'm gonna go Lando here on the Earthquake. Yeah, I can't risk that, man. And uh, let's go for U-turn here. Do I just go Caldeo? <laughs> I feel like Caldeo's gonna Oko this. Let's do a Calc based on that damage. Is he Spadef or Phase Def? Lando versus Zapdos. Oh, you roost plus three attacks. Oh, you defensive. So he's probably, uh, what if we just make it max HP? So he's probably just max HP. Let's see what my Keldeo can do against this. Choice specs. 76 to 90 against max HP. He's not quite in range yet, so let's just go Keldeo. I mean, he ran here. Oh, he actually is not leftover, so I could have knocked him out. Uh, I just get to go for Magma Storm. He doesn't have a switch in. Come on, just... Please hit. <laughs> like that last match was... Well, the match before that. Okay. I do hit. Nice. Now I just go for a Magma Storm again. He knocks me out. It does not matter. I'm about to go Caldeo and get my kill. With Surf. Yeah, knock that out. Goes Muck. Let's go Lando here. He might try to Poison Touch Poison me. I feel, like that was gonna, I feel like that's what he's going to do. Pursuit to try to get the poison. No, he doesn't do that. He goes for knockoff. I don't think my scarf is very important, so that's fine. I'll go for U-turn here. We know it's not lefty, Zapdos. Clef? Okay. I'll go Keldeo here. My Keldeo can live a hit and Hydro Pump this. Alright. Nice, I hit. Yeah, and as I said, I take the hit and I get a kill now. Because I'm pretty sure... Uh, never mind, I don't get a kill. Uh, that sucks, so that would have torn, torn his team apart, but I think I won this with my Manectric. So let's uh, let's go Manectric here. Let's go for the... Still have the full health of Lando. Let's go for Thunderbolt, knock that out. So this kind of went pretty bad after I missed the Hydro Pump. Goes out into this. Go Lando. On the Earthquake. I feel like it's going to double EQ here. So let's just go for Stone Edge. On Scissor, unfortunately, I, he dodges. He gets a free U-turn here. Let's just go for EQ. Yeah, he goes for a U-turn, okay. So... If I had Keldeo here, this would be great, obviously, but I uh, unfortunately do not. Let's try to hit another Stone Edge, though. Yeah, he's actually fast, okay. So, it is fast on this thing. 
I think I need to have Gudra do some good work right now. Let's go for Ice Beam. Goes for Volt Switch, does uh, very little. Chopi throws away Landau, that would be very funny. Goes Muck, okay. And uh, it is Black Sludge. Yeah, I don't think I can win this anymore. Goes for knockoff, does a ton. Okay, what I need to do right here is try to weaken him for Manectric and hope I can win with that. So now, uh, what I need to do here is go Manectric and get a Para. But he's just gonna win with Scarf Lando anyway. Yeah, I lost this. Because I missed Hydro Pump, I bought. Yeah, we T Bolt it, doesn't do enough. He actually has Pain Split. I'll just go ahead and actually, I guess we'll try to play it out. I can probably win with some Paras. Or at least, like, maybe some crits. I don't know why he did that. That made no sense, because if I HPS'd right there and tried to play off that choke. Yeah, now, now he definitely wins. So uh, I'll just Psychic here. Maybe we can crit him and knock him out. Nope. I'll take my kill and then leave. I don't mind. Okay, so he gives me the kill, and uh, now I'll forfeit. So that's going to be the end of the session. I don't want to continue playing after two games that have been hacked right there, so... Uh, yeah, I don't want to like lose all my points on tilt or anything, but I did hope you guys enjoyed, of course. AV Gudra did get to do some things, and uh, yeah, the team will be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out, and I'll see you all next time. Later.